we've seen some astonishing Grand Prix here over the years, haven't we? The drama of 2015 is a recent example. Jensen Button's first win on a wet track in 2006, or in 1997, Damon Hill's heartbreak in the Arrows after a late gearbox failure cost him what would have been the team's only ever victory. What a wonderful place this is to come racing today. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. So as we look ahead to what I hope will be a very entertaining race, I have to ask Anthony Davidson what you expect to see in terms of strategy today. I mean, do you expect a lot of tyre management? A lot of fuel management? Well, don't we always? I don't expect these are going to be any more important than usual, if I'm honest. But what I do expect, however, are a lot of drivers getting into the pits early for some kind of undercut on fresh rubber. If you can pit before the person in front, have a good stop and drive a blistering outlap, there may be one or two seconds to be gained. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that will be the go-to strategy, surely. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Try to cover the inside line off the start. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. It's Ferrari in pole position then, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Rosberg, Jensen Button and Alonso, Hamilton, Verstappen, NASA and Rio Harrianto, Verline, Holkenberg, Marcus Ericsson and Perez, Sainz, Grosjean, Esteban Gutierrez and Felipe Massa, Magnussen and Bottas, Daniel Kvyat and Jolian Palmer rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. 